um, we all know clothes and your sense of fashion changes as you like go from like a kid, teenager, to your 20s and then to your 30s and then I don't know what's after your 30s but um, <coughs> let's just kind of start with where my downfall started happening and it was year 2016 so these are some what's battle pictures i have my book here <laughs> because like, there's so many like uh screenshots that are going to be here that's why this big space is here but yeah when i broke my leg and my shin came out through my skin um I had to get a load of metal on it and I was bruised right from the tip of my toes right up to my inner thigh like these pictures you'll see but after that I was like not able to like wear um, heels I used to wear my heels all the time and um, Wearing my heels and being drunk at a football game in Belfast. Um, that's how I broke my leg. So I've not worn heels since 2016. So um, it really affected like what I wore. And I kind of got into all the lazy clothes like track suits on track suits on track suits and just no effort going into your looks at all but whenever I was like 14 I was like I'm a happy stage and the big like wide flares and big like billabong hoodies and all that there um and then as I started getting into like my 17, 18 years, I started going with my biker type of look. And that's where I was mostly happy. So like in 2016, not 2016, I'm so used to saying that year. Um, in 2007, there's a picture here. I was at a rock gig in the Odyssey in Belfast. I went to see um, Nickelback and I loved that look, but that was like a going out look to a rock gig. And I loved that look because I had all my hair extensions and all that and I was like free spirited. <laughs> And yeah, so like picture two, the pink hair and um, my other going out look, I went to a rock gig and a hot girl to the Diamond Rock Club. And it was either my birthday or my friend's birthday this look was from and you can see how happy i am so just writing down something there um but yeah um this these are the looks that i used to like go out and the big heels and stuff like that rock all night and you know be free be 18 19 and just be free but like life kept going on and then um the least top picture here um i was happy but i was in a a weird place because like i was on a load of drugs and like i just didn't 
feel happy in my clothes but I still continued wearing my type of gothic rocker biker looking stuff like but um next picture is I was at a car show and the picture and that was like <laughs> my bright pink hair, my, my wee like crop top leather um, coat going over my lace top and I had high tops on at that time and do you notice like every pair of jeans that you usually see in this video is low waisted jeans and I'm so fed up of the world today they don't seem to be making um low waisted jeans like it's ridiculous um but so picture five is the crazy hairdo that um, I, this is where my dreadlock journey began. So I bought um, blonde, black and pink glue tip extensions and I had a glue gun for doing your own extensions. And so I got my mate to like do my hair and we sat up for like 16 hours doing my hair and it turned out to be brilliant and the face top and stuff in that air picture I was always like ripping up my clothes and you know because like ordinary like tops don't fit me which reminds me um the first ever picture that I post that is in this video at the Nickelback gig, that dress I'm wearing is actually a top. It's a top and I've still got it up the stairs. Um, it's a top, but I wore it as a mini dress because it was a size 10, um, normal people size and I'm like four foot seven. So it done me as a nice dress. <laughs> So let's just carry on and where am I at? Camera picture, like. <laughs> um, I was always like kind of showing like the bottom of my belly and I feel uncomfortable doing that now, like because I'm 35 now and it, it's like, I've got a wee jelly belly and stuff like that there, but um. You notice the jeans are low waisted jeans and I've always got like this belt. This belt has been, well not this exact belt, the exact style of this belt. <laughs> I've went through about fucking about close to a hundred of these belts throughout my life and the jeans, low waisted jeans, black hoodie and yeah, like I just want to, I just want to strangle these people's necks that who makes the jeans high waisted, like it's so annoying but um, cat ears, my um, like fish, fish net hoodie with the cat ears and the rings in its ears um that was another wee look and I was so happy I was out I was down at junction one actually sitting um getting stoned with my friend and um yeah I still have that hoodie up the stairs and I will be wearing it like, I've got clothes from even a buckle. I've got like a buckle, a big skull 
buckle with rhinestones in it. I've had that since I was like, what, 16? And let's get to the next. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Green string in and eating. Um, the next picture is, look, low waisted jeans, the belt, the black top, and I was so happy because them jeans were my favourite pair of jeans, like, because they were nice fit in it, um, low waisted, nice around my wee hours, and they were like big flares at the bottom, but obviously wearing them for like, since like, what, 2012 till 2014, no, 15. Yeah, 2015. So like three years wear and tear on the bottom of them because they were a bit too long on the bottom. Um, <laughs> it pure killed me to get rid of them jeans. But I was so happy. I was in in my nicest favourite pair of jeans. Like we all go through stages that we have to get rid of clothes eventually. And it breaks your heart. But let's move on. Cut top. So I cut this white face top up and like, I do this a lot with face tops. I don't like the way face tops feel very restricted and stuff. So, like, I cut up the back and up the sides and, like, tie things together that's cut up on it, <laughs> like you see. And I love it. I love doing that. I done it yesterday. I cut up a face top yesterday. And, yeah. I was happy and then this top <laughs> I actually got paid to promote this here top but I did the promotion part wrong so <laughs> I kind of lost out on that but I got good pictures and stuff with the top like but yeah um people have like you know you know like companies reaching out to you to try this and try that to promote them i've had sunglasses companies and um, to promote their stuff like and t-shirt companies and other clothing companies but i don't want to do anything like that at the minute i'm like i just want to build up more of an online kind of more of an online kind of presence, if you know what I mean. So, um, there during COVID, um, I kind of dabbled getting back into my old style. So, this was me, um, this was me in 2020, the green top, or not the green top, the green bottoms, the chain, the boots. I've actually got the same boots on today. These boots are AK-47, which I thought was a cool, which I thought was a cool name. And then, um, my like gothic hoodie. I was in a depressed state like we all were in 2020. Um, like all my black clothes and all the like style that I was into is always, is always going to be there because that's my happiest place. And like I've decided from today, like because it's Monday, new start, new time to like get back to my old shit so next picture is 2021 or 22 
and 22 I think and that's me getting back into just trying out my old style again but I've never had dreadlocks with my old style which I miss my dreadlocks but I need to like kind of let my hair grow, let it get healthy and then I'll put in my dreadlocks again. But yeah, that's the end of the video, or not the end of the video, the end of all last year. But like, what dress sense um, makes you the most happiest? Is it like going with the trend or just sticking to what you know? And like if you want to comment below what pictures you like um feel free to do so but i'm getting back into my happiness my type of clothing and i'm going to stop caring about what people like because when you hit 30 it, when i hit 30 it was like a light bulb that went off in my head it was like a total change of everything. Like, I seemed to worry more about what I was dressing like and what I was acting like and stuff like that. And now I'm 35, so I'm like, fuck it, I'm getting back into my old shit. Apart from the drugs. <laughs> Not getting on the drugs again ever. Four years clean and don't even smoke weed the last time i smoked weed was end of january start of november this year so team U haul coming up once it all comes in so pictures will be like going one by one here this is what all i'm expecting so um that's what's coming up once they come i have to wait until it all comes together and then i've got like two items that hasn't come from a uh, team you and um i've got at least another three i've got three other items that is from team you but i've not worn yet so that'll be in the next team new clothing haul like i think i'll i think i'll like title it team new black clothing haul because like it's not really gothic it's not really biker it's just like me but yeah that's the end i can get rid of my wee like book but I am um, see this is what I'm wearing today. Back to my old self. So anyway. Like, subscribe, share, do whatever the fuck you want to do. It's the end of the video. I'm Wee Pinky and I love yous. Comment something nice. Comment something positive. Let's keep being positive and help each other just to be nice to each other. Like, all that's hate in the world today. It's like so strange. I'm just, I just like, I'm like, just want and love everywhere. I just want to love on everybody, but everybody just, there's a lot of like keyboard warriors that are going in. Like I've been called a little goblin and everything. So it just like, say, it just like makes me like say like, what the fuck are people like saying? I'm like a little goblin. Does that make them feel better about themselves? I don't know, but anyway, yeah. Have a good day and it looks sunny but it's like very cloudy so yeah I'm gonna go and do the hoovering now and do the housework.
<laughs> Peace out. Love yous. Bye.